let's take a look at the big book of math for middle school and high school. For those of you who might think that foldables are just for elementary, you've got another thing coming. This book is arranged in three general sections. The first section shows the, how to make all the folds that Dinah's going to use. And by the way, there are a few pages at the very beginning which explain how and why and where we use foldables in teaching. So this might be a really useful section for you to take a look at if you're not very familiar with Dinah's materials. The second section and the bulk of the book is about um, adapting activities for foldables and making use of them in your instruction. You'll see different charts here and there is a one column for skills, another for activity suggestions, and the third column shows the number of foldable parts. That's the number of tabs that will be at the front of the foldable. And what you'll see at the beginning of the um, book when you're looking at the instructions is that there's more than one way to create a foldable with two parts or three parts or one part or multi parts. And so you can mix and match the folds that you think might be most useful and beneficial for your students. There is a series of reproducible graphics in the back, although with middle and high school students, we generally want them to produce more of their own graphics. So this is not as large a section as you'll find in the elementary books, but there's a great section with famous mathematicians. There are formula flashcards and some general math graphics that we think you might find useful. We hope this becomes a treasured resource for you.